So, and now they're just quick project we decided to do while we were inside because it had been raining out. We are in the process of making ground meat. Basically what I've done is I've taken one of my roasts that we got from the butcher from one of our goats and we're putting it through our little KitchenAid and it's grounding it up and making us some tasty, tasty meat. I just cut myself, so my husband's finishing up the cutting. So, all right, and here's our finished ground meat. I am so excited to give this a try. We've gotten some ground meat from the butcher that was already pre-ground, but I'm kind of liking the fact that I can make my own. It's pretty exciting. So uh, I'm going to package some of this up and we're probably going to cook some of this up tonight and uh, we'll let you know how it tastes. All right, stay tuned. So to make things even so much better, we just used our food saver for the very first time, which was very exciting. And when we did, this is what we got. A nice big old bag of ground meat. Can't wait to give it a try. So that's it for okay. now. See you guys later. Bye. Hey guys, this is Crystal with Rock and JC's Goat Farm. I know I had shown you the incubator with the babies in it when they were uh, not quite hatched, where I had the two rows of the Easter Eggers and the Rhode Island Reds. And I meant to give you guys an update on that when they hatched, but it happened so fast and I totally forgot. But I just wanted to give you a quick view of what I've got going on here. So here is what I got. I ended up with two of mine that hatched and seven of the Easter Eggers that hatched. And they are doing phenomenal. They are so cute. But yeah, I just wanted to give you guys an update on them and show you how big they're getting and how fast they're growing. And I will kind of bring you along when I actually introduce them to the flock. So student stay tuned for that.